This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus C200 Chromebook with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus C200 Chromebook. Uh, before we get started, a couple things I need to show you. The first is to find the model number. If the label is on the front still, then you can see it says Asus C200. If the label is not on the front, you look on the back and it says Asus model C200M. And on the right hand corner under the barcode it says C200MA. So as long as it says C200 and it's not a touchscreen version, which they don't have out yet as, as of late 2014, then this procedure will work. Okay, the second thing I need to show you is when you close and open the laptop, it automatically turns on. We, want, we don't want the laptop on while we're working on it. So we want to turn off, so what you do is do a long press of the power button and as soon as the green LED goes off, that means the laptop is off. Next order of business is to show you the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers that's to manipulate sc screws and cables and also to pry things open in this case. And finally we have a hobby knife or an exacto knife and that's to lift up adhesive tape and open plastic seams between two joints. I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, let's get started. For this particular laptop the procedure is a little bit different to replace the screen to then to most other Chromebooks in the fact that before you remove this screen bezel you have to remove this hinge cover because part of the screen bezel is behind the screen cover and I'm going to show you how to remove the hinge cover first so what you do is flip the laptop over stand it on its side and then use the hobby knife or exacto knife to loosen up the seam in the back between the hinge cover and the back of the screen assembly. So you'll hear some snapping sounds when you're doing this. You can use your fingernails, fingertips to help you to hold it open and you loosen up all the way. Once you do that, you flip the laptop over and then tilt the screen as far back as it'll go. Then using the metal tweezers, reach in the gap between the bottom of the laptop and the hinge cover and pry up. And the hinge cover should come up. And on one side it can be a little bit harder than the other side. So there's really not much you can damage, so you can reach in and pry up. Okay, before we go further, I'm going to show you how to put this back on because it can be tricky. If you look at the hinge cover, it's almost identical on top and bottom. The only difference is that the top part is a little bit longer than the bottom part. So the longer part goes on top and the shorter part goes on the bottom. This part is easy to confuse. To put it back on, you just place it about into the hinges and just push in and snap on. And then just gently push in until you hear snapping sounds and look on the bottom, make sure that the seam is closed. If it's not closed, just push in a little bit. Okay, we're going to open it up again. We're going to use our hobby knife to open up the seam. Tilt the laptop open a little bit so it's easier. Open up the seam. You hear snapping sounds again. And repeat the procedure 
open up the laptop and use our tweezers to lift it up and out. Uh, for you it might be a little bit harder because I've lifted up this hinge cover several times so it's a little bit easier for me. But just do the procedure exactly as in this video and it will come off. We put the hinge cover to the side. Next order of business is to remove the screen bezel. There's no screws on the screen bezel so it just snaps off. What you want to do is start on the side, put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift up and out and like this work your way around the screen. If at a part it's stuck, it's not coming off, you skip that part and come back to that part later when it's easier. Keep working your way around the screen and like so. Lift it up and out. When you're putting the bezel back on, just snap it on like you snapped that off. This part is not too hard. Okay, next we have the screen assembly exposed. For this type of screen, it's mounted by some metal tabs on the side with four screws. So we want to remove these four screws to remove the screen from the back of the screen assembly. For this part, tilt tilt the screen back a little bit so it doesn't fall forward on you and remove the four screws one by one. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, make sure you keep the screws all together in one place and don't lose them. Once you do that, you can grab the screen assembly by the metal tabs and gently tilt the screen assembly forward and laying down. One thing to watch out for is not to lay it down on the power button because if you accidentally press the power button, the laptop will turn on. If it does, just turn off again, but just be careful with it. For this type of screen, we just need to remove uh, this connector here, and it's secured by adhesive tape. So we use our hobby knife or X-Acto knife to lift up the corner of the adhesive tape and peel it back, like so. Once you do that, you grab the connector by the ends and just pull it out, like so. I'm going to show you how to reconnect the connector uh, so that it's connected properly. You push it in and you feel but not hear too clicking. Or you feel but not hear, you feel but not hear two clicks. That's correct. So let's get a close up of it. Okay, this is what a properly connected connector looks like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connector. The two sides of the connector should be flush with each other. Okay, let's disconnect it again and take a look at this screen. This is a 11.6 inch EDP screen, slim, and it has a glossy finish. So, a couple things to notice about it. Uh, like I said, it's an EDP screen, and what that means, it has the smaller 30 pin connector than screens that are a little bit older so make sure that the screen you have has a 30 pin connector and also a glossy finish most of the times you get a glossy finish but sometimes you get a matte finish so unless you specifically request a matte finish you'll get a glossy finish let's look at the part number the part number is N116BGEEB2 so when you order this part number, sometimes you will get N116BG-EA2. The two screens are 100% compatible. And as time goes on, I'm sure there will be more part numbers for this screen that is compatible. But make sure the form factor looks like this, and it's a 30-pin connector in the bottom right-hand corner when looking from the back. 
Okay, uh, you can order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and we guarantee you that the screen we ship will be compatible or we'll get you the right one. We also work with school districts around the country, and this particular model is used a lot in schools, so contact us regarding volume pricing and bulk discounts. Uh, to order this screen from us online, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, and that will guide you to find the right model to order online. If you live outside of the United States, we ship to most countries around the world, just follow the regular procedure. And if you live in the United States, we ship this screen for, for free in the continental United States using priority mail, and you'll get your screen in two or three days. Also, with every screen we ship, we provide this toolkit free at no charge, so you'll have everything that you need to replace the screen. Once you do get your screen in, reconnect it as I showed you, mount the screen in the back of the screen assembly, put screw the four screws in, snap the screen bezel back on, and then put the hinge cover back on as I showed you earlier. The trickiest part of this procedure is the hinge cover, the rest is not too hard. Once you do all that, your laptop should be good as new and ready to go. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.